Welcome to another video by tech-tut.com. This is Robbie and I'm attempting to do some surface mount soldering. I'm making my own circuit board and you can see this is 14 minutes squeezed into 30 seconds. This circuit board took a little over 14 minutes to make, but I figured it'd be too boring to sit through that whole thing. In this video, I'll show you what worked and what didn't work. I've watched a few videos of surface mount soldering and most of them were done with circuit boards made at fab houses and they had solder masks which are very convenient but I figured I would see what I could do with my Lumen Lab CNC router and some bare copper uh, circuit boards. I designed a circuit board in Eagle and uh, did it mostly by hand because the templates don't work in mine it's the free version and it has issues so I just choose to hand draw everything and I figured I'd just use PCB to G code send the G code out and go etch me a circuit board and it seemed to have worked pretty good I tried two or three different methods. I tried the drag method, that was a mistake, and you saw where I had to desolder all those pins using solder wick. Then I uh, tried to apply the solder directly to the pin, and that worked, but it was kind of annoying. So the final attempt was to apply the solder to the tip, and then touch the tip to the each leg, and that worked out pretty good for me. The final step is to inspect the connections, make sure that I don't have any solder bridges, and I had fixed most of them prior to this point, but I'm just checking to make sure. And then I will solder the headers, which are also going to be surface mount parts, and you'll see that in the next step. The final portion of this project was to solder some single inline header pins and uh, I, I chose to use surface mount instead of through hole. Um, after drilling holes in the pads it doesn't leave a whole lot of copper. 
the only thing that I used through hole headers was for the actual programming header and this proved to be one of the most difficult parts because I didn't have enough trace separation for my surface mount header pins and it really doesn't make sense because soldering the IC I had hardly any problems but I had gotten the headers some of them soldered into place and had to desolder them because after checking with the multimeter I had a bunch of bridges that had to be fixed with an exacto knife and I had to scrape in between the traces to really get a good separation. I did make one mistake which in the next scene you'll you'll see that pointed out. Um, the only header that I didn't use a surface mount was for the programming header and I accidentally had a trace going to a reset pin and so I had to just scrape that uh, that one pin and separate it and do a jumper wire. But this project worked out pretty good. Uh, the final scene is spoken in a Learnier fashion from the camera instead of narrating it. So I, I really hope you've enjoyed this and check out the next scene where I actually get a program on the integrated circuit. You can see right here I am now finished with the Freescale surface mount soldering project that I started. You've probably noticed that most of this video has been narrated more than just speaking while I work. Um, this was actually a pretty difficult project for me, especially since I didn't have a solder mask on this. So I had a bunch of solder bridges that had to be cleaned up. And you can see right there, I made a mistake on my eagle board. The ground should have been connected to that third pin. I had it connected to the second pin, so I just took a knife, scratched it, and you can see the scratch on uh, on that pin right there. And this is just a test. I wrote a quick program in the Freescale Code Warrior, connected to the USB Multilink interface, and that connects to the header under here, which I labeled. And there's BGND. The red line shows where the red line on this cable should line up so it should fall that way and then it programs the chip I'm using port C pin 4 which is actually pin 1 I believe on this chip um, and in the program which you won't be able to see but I have it yeah maybe you can port C data direction is um, 0x10 so port pin 4 is is output port C data is is a one so it's true and not, or high then it just sits in a forever loop and I'll figure out how to code some more stuff but you can see on my nasty flute I think I've got Tabasco sauce on it but it's high 3.8 volts which is about what I'm running on my bench power supply and then you can watch it go bye bye as I turn it off. This was a successful project. Now I can start writing some code and debugging and I'm gonna put this on a solderless breadboard and make some stuff using the surface mount. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, have pieced it together with Sinalera in Ubuntu just because I like it like that. And uh, <clears throat> I hope that you've learned something, learned from my mistakes that I've made. Um, if, if there's any comments or questions, just give me an email at uh, Robbie, R-O-B-B-I-E, at tech-tut.com. Thank you for viewing, and tune back next time. Tech-tut.com. And remember, it's more than just a project. It's a lack of sleep. That's Eastern time, just in case anybody is up this time at night. I have schoolwork to do now, but I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody.